seen the well-to-do up and down Park Avenue on that famous thoroughfare with their noses in the air high hats and narrow collars white spats and lots of dollars spending every dime what a wonderful time if you're blue and you don't know where to go to why don't you go where fashion sits on the Ritz. Different folks who wear a day coat, pants with stripes and cut away coat, perfect fits. Putting on the Ritz. Dressed up like a million dollar trooper. Trying hard to look like Gary Cooper. Super duper. Come, let's mix with Rockefellers. Walk with sticks or umbrellas in Benjamin, or should I say Benjamin? <laughs> Reminds me of the little story of uh, the hundred dollar bill who bumped into the one dollar bill on the cash register. One dollar bill says, hundred dollar bill, long time no see, how have you been? Hundred dollar bill says, you won't believe the year I had. First of all, I got cashed in on a winning lottery ticket, and from there, we were around the globe, cruises and special fine dining, oh, oh, and in Vegas, I was on the hottest run of the craps table. Can you believe it? What a year I've had. But how about you, little one dollar bill? What have you been up to? One dollar bill replies, oh, you know, same old, same old, church, church, church. <laughs> Dressed up like a million dollar trooper Trying hard to look like Gary Cooper Super duper! Come, let's mix with Rockefellers Walk with sticks or umbrellas in their mitts Putting on the Ritz Boom, boom, ba -doo -doo. They say that seeing is believing, but I think they got it wrong. You see what you believe in, that's the meaning of the song. Or be careful what you ask for, because that's what you're going to get. How about when you've been asking, but you hadn't seen it yet? Observe the thoughts that occupy the mind. Connect the dots to the things you'd like to find. And when you pray, believe you have it. That's the teaching of the Master. And faith becomes the genesis of everything thereafter. Think it, feel it, see it, believe it. And soon we'll be putting on the Ritz. Putting on the Ritz. Here we go. If you're blue and you don't know where to go to, why don't you go where fashion sits? Putting on the Ritz. Different types who wear a day coat, pants with stripes and cutaway coat, perfect fits. Putting on the Ritz. Dressed up like a million dollar trooper. Cooper, super duper, come let's mix with Rockefellers, walk with sticks or umbrellas in their midst, putting on the Ritz, putting on the Ritz, putting on the Ritz. Tinker, you are the bomb. I love that, putting on the Ritz. And uh, we want to welcome every single one of you to CSL Dallas, a center for spiritual living, where we are radically inclusive, spiritually progressive, 
and transforming lives. And this month, we are talking about um, Zoom to Prosperity, Be Your Superpower. It's all about the laws and the principles of living an abundant life. So we are so grateful that you're here, whether you've been with us for a long time or this is your first time. We are glad that you're with us today. rest in the breath of God, the breath of the one infinite power and presence as it breathes through us, recognizing that this truth, that the very breath of God breathes us, is the most profound superpower that we have, as we allow life to breathe us, love to breathe us, abundance to breathe us, we are breathing the breath of God. And in that divine moment, in that very sacred and holy moment, our power is the divine power. And that one love and that one life pours itself through us into the world as a blessing, as a healing, as something that raises consciousness, as life that pours into life, abundance and joy. And we ourselves become a light a blessing because the breath of God breathes us and as we breathe it we breathe it in and are lifted by it and we breathe it out as a blessing to the world our very lives become a gift and a place where God shows up so this morning we allow the breath of God to breathe us we allow the love of God to pour through our hearts the wisdom of God to pour through our minds, the abundance and wholeness of God to pour through our hands and our work and our giving. For each moment, we are in the breath of God, and that power rises through us, lifts us, and becomes a superpower in the world. This morning, I affirm and declare it for each and every one of us. Because we are bringing our superpower out into the world, the whole world is lifted. Love is shared. Abundance grows. Life is supported. Joy is revealed. This is the truth that I accept right now for each and every one of us. In deep gratitude. In trust and faith, I know it is already so. And so it is. Oh, 
Welcome to the Adventures in Spirit AIS 2021 campaign. Our theme this year is Zoom to Prosperity, Be Your Superpower. We are your co-chairs. I am Leah Glazer. And I am Michael Brundy. And we are both so happy to be here today with you. On behalf of the staff, the ministers, and the AIS committee, we want to say how thankful we are for you. We are here today to talk about our plan to increase the prosperity for you and for our community. And we want to share our 2021 program goals, our vision for our program celebrations and services. And we want to talk about how we pay for that, our operating expenses and our budget, which is based upon your pledges. So whether you're new to the community or you've been here a long time, we're so glad that you are with us today. Let me share with you some of our priorities. Last week, Leah shared with you our highest priority, dreaming outside the box. I want to share with you a couple of other priorities that we have. I'm going to read them to you to make sure that I get it exactly right, too. We're going to focus on the need for and value of high touch in a high tech world, exploring how to serve our spiritual community locally even more and also virtually for kids and family as well as singles, young adults, elders, and everyone in between. Another priority is that we're going to continue to create our CSL Dallas Institute to serve businesses and employees and leaders with mindfulness and meditation and spiritual tools to help our external community stay grounded and to help our external community stay centered and inspired as life continues to change. We will begin by offering our services locally through the Metro Crest Chamber of Commerce. The AIS campaign only happens one time per year. This campaign covers our operating expenses. That's things like getting the rent paid, keeping the musicians playing, and keeping the lights on. That's you. So we do actually count on you to fulfill the pledge that you make. Because what you tell us that you're going to give us in 2021 is how we make our budget. CSL Dallas is very responsible about that. And this is a way that we can have open conversations about money. If during 2021 you want to increase your pledge, hallelujah. If for some reason circumstances change in your life, we ask that you simply let us know. Something that I really appreciate about CSL Dallas is the level of transparency and honesty during the AIS campaign as we talk about what our needs are and your role in fulfilling them. In this way, we do have that kind of open relationship and conversations. So for our AIS campaign, we have goals. You know, there's power in setting goals, and there's even more power if you have collective goals. So goals are targets, and if you don't have a target or a goal, you may not reach your dream. I've watched our community here at CSL Dallas set AIS goals year after year, and we always seem to reach them. I think it's because we believe what we teach, and we say it over and over and over again. So I'm going to say what our goal is, first, and then we're all going to repeat it three times. So our goal for 2021 is $947,000 and 250 pledges and more. Okay, now don't make the same mistake that I made and come up short saying only 247. The actual goal is $947,000 and 250 pledges and more. Now let's say it a second time. $947,000 and 250 pledges and more. A third time with energy and gusto and enthusiasm. $947,000 and 250 pledges and more. That's our goal for 2021. Come join us. Zoom to prosperity and be our superpower. That's what this month is all about. And it is time for all of us to finally wield our superpower, to just let it all out in the biggest way possible. And there's many ways to do that, but there are three, three spiritual universal laws that we are to use to wield our greatest abundant life. And I'm going to talk about these today. 
the first one is significantly important. It's how the whole entire universe works at all times. And that is the law of circulation. It is moving in this divine flow. Everything moves in a circulation of life. Nothing stops going out, nothing stops going in, and it is this huge flow at an ever-expanding rate. So it doesn't just stay here in the law of circulation, but it's ever expanding. And that's the way that we get to wield our superpower in our life. Um, it, is, it keeps us in this flow of possibility. So it doesn't matter what happened last year or last month and how we did it, but it's expanding. It keeps us in this constant, lavish, abundant universe that's going on everywhere around us. It reminds us, this law of circulation, of the part that we play in all this and what we're experiencing ourselves in the flow is to the degree that we are able to see that the universe is constantly flowing more and more and more abundance. As we know, it, it works on this thing called the law of cause and effect, where the universe mirrors back to us whatever we are thinking, whatever we are putting out. And so um, what we give to one person, what we give in this flow to an organization, what we give of our love, what we give in our state of peace, what we give financially, it doesn't necessarily come directly back to us from that same source, but it's coming back to us no matter what in multiplicity from lots of infinite sources. And that's how the law of circulation works. And it definitely comes back to us unless we restrict the flow in any way. It's a constant flow. You know, this superpower theme of all month, uh, Peter and I were talking about what are some of the Marvel characters. And, and I came up with one for the law of circulation. It's like this perfect example. Think about this. It's the Black Panther. He also is called T'Challa. And the Black Panther um, is all about the law of circulation. He's all about the law of circulation. And he's like this king and the protector of the African nation of Wakanda. It's the most technically advanced country in the world. And it's because of this rare, rare uh, metal called vibranium. I really felt there was something here. <laughs> It's vibranium, it's this rare, incredible power um, that enhanced the Black Panther. And um, he drank it from this heart-shaped herb. So think about that. Like everything, when he drank vibranium through the plant that had soaked up the plant, it was like this law of circulation. And he drank it and became um, really conscious, spiritually, uh, big in science, physical strength. and. Uh, Wakanda was all about this technological marvel, this, and they kept that, um, that technology to themselves. And they were, they were afraid, Wakanda was afraid at one point to let everyone else know about all of their superior technology. They were uh, afraid of the outside world possibly invading Wakanda. So they had this false sense and gave this false sense of like the poorest country. Um, on the planet in Africa. And T'Challa, the Black Panther, used his superpowers, knew the law of circulation and how it works, and he says, we can't keep all this good for ourselves. We can't block the flow. We must circulate this good. And, and so we know that this happened in the movie Black Panther, that they, he, he said, we have to share Wakanda's wealth and the technologies to help others. And so he step, helped them step Wakanda into the law of circulation. So that's number one. Number two is the law of giving and receiving. Significantly important. Ernest Holmes tells us that freely ye have received, well, freely give. 
When the law of circulation is retarded, stagnation results, and it's only as we allow the divine current to flow through us and out that we really express life. So the law of giving and receiving is definite. It works every single time. So let's talk about this law of receiving. Again, we are receiving the good, our good, and it comes from everywhere. There's not just one source. It's not just our paycheck. It's just, there's not just certain. It's this large force, and it keeps coming from everywhere. And so we've got to receive that. It doesn't just come from one place. And this is the opportunity as we wield our superpower to receive more. We've got to let in more of our good and receive more of our abundance. And it's so important for us to each be open to that receivership. If we're not, if we don't accept something that is coming our way, it, it's like not accepting when someone wants to give you a gift. Someone wants to give you something, and it's like, no. So this universe is, is using every single person, every single situation, every single opportunity, and it's coming to us, and it's like, no, I'll pay for your meal. No, that's okay, I got it. We've got to wield our superpower and be open to that receivership and say, when someone says, I'll pay for your meal, say, thank you. That would be awesome. I'm so grateful to receive my good. So to expand in our receivership. Because we know what it's like if we try to give somebody something and they refuse. So let's be open to this law of receiving and receive. Someone can't be a giver without a receiver. And so it's time for us to open our receivership and to know this law of receiving. Now, the other side of that law is the law of giving. It's the same thing. It's two sides of the same coin. We must be willing to give. We cannot hold back on the giving. The law of giving is that same type of energy. It's the exact same thing. So we are to open up the giving. And as we do that, the giving of our love, the giving of our financial resources, the giving of our time and talent, and we give it beyond ourselves, then the law of giving and receiving is a way that we are wielding our superpower. And we're changing the patterns of our own consciousness each time that we do this. Because when we give, every time we give something away, we're telling the universe, I have more than enough. And if we're not willing to give and we clinch and we hold back and we don't give, we're telling the universe, I don't have enough. I don't have enough love. I don't have enough money. I don't have enough time. And the universe sends back, you're right, you don't. So it's in this... Re being willing to stretch ourselves and both of these, both of them, keep them balanced, open them both up to be willing to receive more and be willing to give more. That our life is beyond our wildest imaginations. So in the law of giving and receiving, I, I uh, thought about Captain America's shield. Think of it. When he sends that shield out, no matter where it goes, it comes back. And guess what? Do you know what that shield is made out of? Vibranium. It comes from Wakanda. So we throw the shield. We wield our superpower. And we say, I have more than enough in the universe goes from all these various sources, bam, yes you do, yes you do. So I love this song that I want to share with you. It's from the movie Step, and it's sung brilliantly by Candace Stowers. We got to jump. We got to jump for the third one, the one that might scare us the most. 
We got to get ready and we've got to jump. So let's listen to Candace Towers on this brilliant song right now.
So we've got to jump. I love that. We've got to light up blind faith. The whole world's waiting. No more hesitating. And um, our knees may be shaking. Our heart may be racing. But we finally have to know what it's like to fly. Well, what is this? For many of us, it's the most, it's the scariest thing that we can think of. And that's sacred giving and especially tithing. Tithing. That's like giving this thought of so much away that it makes our knees shake and our heart race. So I've asked some, a member from our community who has jumped and taken this leap of faith to come up and share what this has meant to her life and how it's outpictured. So I would love for Michelle Hector, come on up here with me. I'm so glad you're here. Thank you so much, Karen. Yeah, well, so I know that you've shared a little bit of your, um, your leap of faith yes. uh, with me, and I, I cried listening to it. So I just want you to share with our community what has this thing called tithing been in your life, and what has it how has it outpictured since you took the leap? I started tithing over a decade ago. When that happened, I was very, very nervous about tithing. I was a giver, and I thought that was doing a whole lot. But when I started tithing, when I made the decision to actually tithe 10% of my income, my life began to change, not only financially, but I began to feel a lot more relaxed about money in general. Um, I no longer stressed or worried about how bills were going to get paid or how I was going to be able to receive the things that I wanted to receive in my life. So it just freed me up in all areas. Well, last year, I decided to stretch myself even further. I decided to tithe off of my gross income. I wanted to kind of just play with the law. If I gave more, what would happen? It really felt good to give. And so I just wanted to see, well, what would happen if I just give even more? Not only that, but I also decided to tithe off of everything that was given to me financially in terms of cash or check. I would tithe off of that. So birthday checks from my father, mother, things like that. I began to tithe off of those items as well. What I realized is that I began to feel a lot more, even more relaxed about money even more relaxed about how things were going to work out in my life, not only financially, but in all areas of my life. I didn't, I didn't try to fix things the way I used to try to fix things and wanting things to be perfect and lined up in order. I just had this faith that things were going to work itself out. So during the COVID lock-in, I had a lot of time to get quiet and think about what I really wanted in terms of my job. At that time, I was commuting over an hour to work and it was really wearing on me. So I decided to make a list of what I really wanted in terms of a job. So I made my list and I had the income that I wanted to receive. I didn't figure out how that was going to happen as a teacher, but I just wrote down the income I wanted to receive. What was most important to me is that I wanted to be no more than about 20 minutes away from my home. And I wanted to work around colleagues and an administration that was very uplifting and positive. Well, countdown happened, and it was almost time for me to, to report back to work, and I received a phone call. That phone call was offering me a position at a school 12 minutes away from my home making the income that I never thought I would make as a teacher. Matter of fact, to this day, I still don't know <laughs> how this happened, but I'm very grateful that I work around people that I actually enjoy. I work around an administration that values my time, values my experience, and my job is fun. I actually am excited, again, about being an educator, and I'm excited about this, this truth, this understanding 
that the more that we give, the more we receive. That it's not about so much a percentage or how much. It's just consistent giving. And I think that in time, you give more because you realize that there's an infinite supply to give. So I'm just so excited about my life. And I hope that you give tithing a chance. If you've run out of options, if you've done everything else, try tithing. Michelle, thank you for sharing your story. I know you're an inspiration for so many, and um, I, I'm just so grateful that you have the job of your dreams, and that means that every student, every administrator, and every colleague is being touched by your leap of faith, that you are just giving. Thank you so much. More. Thanks. Thank you. <laughs> So Michelle just... really uh, wields her superpower. She has stretched it, and um, it's through sacred giving and especially tithing. So like she said, you know, if you've tried everything else, try that. I know it sounds counterintuitive, but let's look at our superheroes. There are two that are really good at this. Superman, or in her case, Superwoman. They have x-ray vision. They can see through they see through what you think is going on and see through to the, the truth of reality. And how about Wonder Woman? She has a golden lasso. And when she wraps that golden lasso around someone, it's the lasso of truth that you have to speak the truth. So these superpowers allow us to see the truth of how these laws work. The law of circulation, the law of giving and receiving and the laws of sacred giving and tithing, meaning stretching ourselves beyond what we think that we can do. It's time for us to wield our superpower and to be that superpower person that we came here to be and to lead and live an abundant life once and for all. Thank you so much for joining us today. And this is our time to share of that abundance, to give of our tithes and our gifts, our sacred giving, to continue to support this place, CSL Dallas, with which um, we are all spiritually fed. So your tithes and gifts keep all of this moving as you are hearing with our adventures in spirit. So please do donate, csldallas.org, and click the donate button, or you can click the Facebook donate button, or you can text give. The number is on your screen right now. Once you set it up, it's always set up. So all of your tithes and gifts make a huge difference to the community and to the work we do in the world. And we thank you so very much. So now we have some um, announcements. So um, Oscar and Karen are going to come up here and they're going to join me with this. Um, so I do want to let you know that we have some fabulous things coming up. Um, and the first one that I'm going to tell you about is in November, November 10th, Tuesday, November 10th, due to the popularity, we're bringing back the metaphysical teachings of Jesus with Reverend Karen on Tuesdays, beginning the November 10th, all the way through till December 15th. If the visible experience in your life is not what you want it to be or could be, if you are unhappy or poverty stric stricken, which you can't possibly be after this uh, month's program, then know that you can change all of that for good. When one comes to understanding the teachings of Jesus from a metaphysical perspective and then practicing what Jesus actually taught, everything changes in your life. Explore the Beatitudes, the Loaves and Fishes miracle, and especially Jesus' prosperity teachings. Get ready for an unrestricted life with Reverend Karen. Yes, I love that topic. Ooh. Live an abundant life. Um, it's so rich. And uh, you can stay spiritually connected while we are physically distancing still. Um, go to csldallas.org and look for the main slider, the picture that says stay spiritually connected. We have something seven days a week, if you didn't know that. We have all kinds of opportunities. There's meditation in the morning. Um, you can also sign up on our main webpage for newsletter. You can get a group text, send that to our office manager at csldallas.org, and you can get inspirational texts three times a week. But keep 
search, uh, going back to our website and find out how you can stay spiritually connected with us seven days a week. I love that. Speaking of being connected, I would love the announcement sheet. <laughs> I know. I'm sorry. It's <clears throat> you're just going to do the practitioner. Great, great, perfect. Because <laughs> I love it as I don't <laughs> All right, you guys, so great to see you all with us. Thank you for joining us in this celebration. So immediately after the celebration, we got our practitioners ready and waiting for you on Zoom with a breakout one-on-one -on -one room just for you, for prayer work, to remind you of the truth of who you are. They got your back. Mm -hmm. Practitioners on standby for you. Let's and sing always, it out. We're going to sing it out. Yay. I'll be with you. All together, hand in hand, we'll see the light we take a stand. And we are changing a whole new life for you and me. Take the past and set it free and share this. Blessing, love be with you, peace enfold you, spirit lift you, breathe it in, to come through you, may they flow to you, let joy renew you, till we meet again, love be with you, peace enfold you.